Hey pups, Arby here, and today we're looking at some video game creepypasta theories, or creepy video game theories, however you want to say it. Please note that these are some of the theories I chose for this list, and I only chose five or less, and I'll be excluding Pokemon theories such as Gary's Dead Radicate and The Great Pokemon War. If you have a theory that you think should be on here, comment down below, and let's begin. Number five is Super Mario Brothers. We've all heard of the famous Nintendo mascot Mario and his brother Luigi, having various games like Super Mario Brothers and Luigi's Mansion, and multiple appearances in games like the Smash Bros. series. But are they all in the famous plumber's imagination? There's a theory that the entire Mario series is just a performance. Mario and the gang are actors and crew members for stage performances. The theory seems far-fetched at first, but both games Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine both seem to represent episodes for a TV show and the Mario Party series resembling a reality show. Coincidence? I think not. Number four is Portal and Portal 2. Yes, I'm counting both games in here because it's my list, I do what I want. Both Portal and its sequel, Portal 2, are extremely popular puzzle games, but there are two theories involving the storyline of both Portal and its sequel. One theory claims that the companion cubes contain dead or dying bodies of failed test subjects and seem to speak and should be listened to. Another theory states that Cave Johnson, aka Mr. Johnson, and Carolyn were shells, the protagonists of both Portal games, parents. Some of the hints that inspired that theory are the following. Mr. Johnson and Carolyn being in a relationship, a bring your daughter to work day science project involving a potato with the words by shell scribbled on the corner. And GLaDOS has turned into a potato later in the game and becomes motherly and concerned towards Shell, which is something that the old GLaDOS would never consider. The turns I'm referring to my dear child repeatedly, Cave Johnson's, Carolyn's, and Shell's name all starting with C. And finally, GLaDOS quoting, she was a lot like you in the song, Now I Only Want You Gone, during the credits. So is that to say that GLaDOS was really Shell's mom and neither of them knew? That is just sad. Number three is Kirby. You thought Kirby games were all pure, harmless fun, right? Well then, prepare to be wrong. In Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards, Kirby travels to the world called Shiver Star that looks strikingly similar to Earth in the Ice Age. There's even a mall and a factory with working robots with no sign of any human life. So basically, Shiva stars Earth in a new ice age after a nuclear holocaust, and robots pretty much took over the planet. I knew it! I knew robots would take over the world, and they have! Luckily we prepare for this day, huh, Plank? Get it? Add an any reference? Huh? 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 Number two is Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing seems like a happy game with fun activities and a human living peacefully among a village of anthropomorphic animals. But one theory isn't so family friendly. This theory states that Animal Crossing is a story of child abduction. The game begins with a human child on a car or bus with the driver Kappen, modeled after the Kappa, a creature in Japanese mythology known for kidnapping children, with the child waking up in the back of the vehicle, supposedly having been drugged. Once the child arrives in the village, Someone is already there, and Tom Nook constantly adds upgrades without permission to pay more debts, and the activities are merely jobs to help pay off the debt. An alternative version of this theory says the child is dead, and a majority of the letters are from the character's grieving mother. Child deduction and death. An Animal Crossing. You shall never look at the game the same way ever again. I want to give a quick honorable mention to the Earthbound Gygus Fetus from Hell theory. I explained it in a previous video, so check that out. I will link it in the description below. So with that being said, moving on to number one is Majora's Mask. By one of the darkest and most popular games in the Legend of Zelda franchise, the atmosphere around it is what created this rather sad theory. According to this theory, the game is a literal journey through the five stages of grief and spread on Link's feelings after Navi left in the Ocarina of Time. 
Each turn of the game represents one of all five stages. Clock down being denial, with people in the town going about their lives and plan their festival, despite the end being near. With that very creepy moon upon the thing, it's... The end is nigh, clock down. The end is nigh. The Deku of Woodfall being anger in their treatment of the monkey. Snowhead being bargaining with the Gorgon leader, Darmani, bargaining for his life. Lulu in Great Bay is depression. And finally, Link finding acceptance of his grief in a kind of valley, land of the dead, when finding both the the algae of emptiness and the light arrows. And Link may also be dead throughout the game, and the stages are about his own demise from falling off of Epona in the opening cutscene. I said it before and I'll say it again. Majora's Mask is one of my favorite Zelda games, but for some of the Zelda fans, it feels rather darker than any other Zelda game out there, with off feelings and the area Termina is close in name to the word terminal. So now you're closer to ruined childhoods. You are welcome! Today's fan art is by KayoArt25, and I am sorry if I mispronounce your name. And oh my Arceus, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen! If you want your fan art featured, my social links are in the description below. I also have a Patreon, so if you want to support what I do, please become a patron on my Patreon today. And I'll see you later, pups! This is our peer reminder you stay awesome, stay strong, and stay beautiful.